Welcome to Horizon Keypads. This video will show you the installation of three Horizon switches utilizing a 3 gang Horizon faceplate. This box has already been cleared out, as there is no plaster inside. The wires are already organized, prepped, and tagged. Because this is a new construction installation, the power is not on these devices yet, so there is no power here. If you are doing this as a retrofit application, make sure you turn the power off first. The reason being, in a traditional three-way switch, we would have a remote and control device. Here, we have power on the travel, which goes to our remote terminal on a remote device. Please make sure once again that there is no power present during this installation. So, we are going to start with the grounds first. Once separated, we are going to add some ground pigtails to make servicing the device in the future easier. We are using three 7 inch wires to do this. Combine them all and wire nut them. Hook it back into the box. Separating these pigtails now for each device makes putting them in the box and taking them out of the box much easier. Now we are going to pigtail the neutrals. We only need one input. So here we are going to tile the neutrals together and add a jumper to the one device. This jumper will be slightly longer than the ground wires. Now tuck into the box and clear all wiring as far back as possible to allow for the devices to have room along with all the wires. Now on the back of the device, you have a strip gauge, as well as labels for each connection. All the screws are color coded. On a traditional three-way switch, the hot always goes to the darkest color so our hot is on the black screw. Our neutral is on a silver screw, our load is on a brass screw, and our remote is on a blue screw. First we will start with the grounds. To find the correct orientation for the device, look for the Crestron logo on top of the device and make sure the lettering is the correct way. Now let's strip the neutral wire. The strip gauge is about 3 eighths of an inch. We will also have the jumpers in the correct colors. They are about 6 to 7 inches in length. Make sure the insulation on the wires is just above the plastic. You do not want to show too much copper. Now we will do the hot wire. Now we connect the load wire. The next device is another switch. Follow the same process but using the jumpers from switch 1.
Same for switch 3. The only difference is connecting the remote line to the blue screw on device 3. We connected the hot, and now let's send the hot to our next device. And now remote wire to our remote device. Make sure you are folding the wires back into the box neatly. Now we will prepare the devices to be placed in the box. Do not just randomly push the wires into the box. Keep them organized so when you need to make adjustments later, it is much easier. Make sure your spacers are correctly oriented as they are shown here. Now you can attach the spacers. Keep in mind they are friction fit, making it easier to remove them during adjustments. Note how they snap together. We will now loosely put the screws in to get them in place. Now we are going to put on our bracket. This is for our faceplate. Now you can begin to screw in each screw carefully and evenly as to not pop the spacers. You want to make sure that they stay connected. We will now put on the trim plate. This sits right on top of the bracket with magnets. Note the top label on the faceplate. Note that you may need to make several adjustments, carefully aligning and adjusting the depth of the devices to the faceplate. These small screws lock the faceplate into the switches. This helps make the plates flush with the switches. And you can adjust the switches through the plate. We are now making the final adjustments. Make sure not to tighten the devices or the faceplate too much. Note that you can still adjust the lighting devices through the faceplate. Notice the orientation of the top and bottom trim pieces during installation, and that they use magnets to attach the faceplate. You have now completed your installation. Thank you for watching.